It says, and Peter continued knocking. Can you imagine him all this time that they're in there arguing with Rhoda? Peter keep on knocking. Hello! And when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he, beckoning unto them with the hand to hold their peace, de declared unto them how the Lord had brought him out of prison. And he said, Go show these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went to another place. Now as soon as it was day, there was no small stir about the soldiers. What was become of Peter? They were there having a prayer meeting, hoping that Peter would get released and that God's hand would be upon him, but they wasn't really sure whether God was going to do it or not. God wants to remove the doubt and unbelief out of us. Yeah. He wants to remove that doubt simply is uncertainties about what He wants to do. Amen. I say, God wants to, can you imagine what will happen to a group of people that are going to get together and just simply believe God? We're just going to believe God. Yeah. All doubt has to leave. You know, that, that was a thing where when Peter one time was going to pray for some people, he put everybody else out of the room. He said, I don't want you a bunch of unbelievers in there with me. Some is not going to believe. Some will believe. Some won't. And God was wanting to remove all the doubt and unbelief. I want to go over here and cover just for a minute about the doubt. That was rebuked by Jesus. When Peter was sinking, remember Peter again? He was sinking. He walked on water, then he began to sink. Anyone remember that story? All right. In Matthew 14, 31, it says, And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Peter, why did you doubt? If I started something, I'm going to do it. Did you, did you think for one minute I'm going to let you sink? Amen. Do we think for one minute that God's just going to bypass us when He said He loved His disciples, He 